Men's Team USA basketball is only 2-2 two and two against the spread in the four Olympic Games, but more importantly, they're 4-0 straight up, and they're one more win away from guaranteeing either a silver or gold medal. Semifinal Game 2 is this Thursday afternoon. I'm going to break down both the side, the total, look at some player props, let you know how to play this game. Deep analysis coming here for you for free in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. We're talking the second game of the semifinals Thursday. This one goes 3 p.m. Eastern Thursday afternoon, August the 8th. Don't forget, I did a full game breakdown for Germany, France, game one of the semifinals. Also, a free play in that game for you here on Wager Talk TV. Yet another reason to click subscribe and hit the bell as well for instant alerts when these videos go up. I'll also be doing both the bronze and gold medal games this Saturday in the finals. Team USA has already beaten Serbia twice. They beat them in the exhibition season last month uh, rather easily, 105-79. Won that game by exactly 26. And then history did repeat itself with another 26-point win in the first game of the Olympics last week, 110-84. So they've won by exactly 26 points both times. They've been a anywhere from like a 14- to 16-point favorite in the games. And right now they're a 16 a point favorite once again. Uh, so I'm not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Not betting against the USA in elimination game. They've been very up and down. As I mentioned, they're just two and two against the spread, and they have played better in focus spots. They covered game one against Serbia, failed to cover against South Sudan, a little lackluster showing against Puerto Rico, only a 21 point win. They would have covered, obviously, this line. Um, but then they came out focused as I thought they would against Brazil. I recommended the first half against Brazil uh, the other day on, in the first game of the elimination round, the quarterfinals. That cashed easily. I think this situation is different. I like actually the USA full game better now than I do first half. First half is 9.5. Full game is 16. I think they're actually less likely to come out strong here after the easy win, the strong start against Brazil, the fact they've beaten Serbia twice. I could actually see a situation where the U.S. gets a little sloppy like they did against Puerto Rico and some of their other games when they're not focused. So an in-game betting opportunity is probably better. I would not play this pre-flop. I would look for an opportunity to play the USA if they're down in the first quarter or first half and get an adjusted price. Now, I do lean towards them minus 16 for the game if you're looking to play, play it uh, pre-game. I like the full game minus 16 better than the first half as opposed to the Brazil game, which I said I like the first half better, and that cashed easy. But I think the best situation here is wait, see if they maybe get off to a little bit of a complacent start, and then come in in-game and get less than minus 16. That'd be my preferred betting strategy for this one. I would also lean under the 186.5, 187. Talked about this in the um, France video as well. You know, this is playoff intensity now. These are medal games. Whoever wins this game is guaranteed a gold or a silver. It's the medal round. I think we do see more defensive intensity. And for that reason, I would lean under 187 as well if you're looking at the total. Uh, the game last week landed 194, but the USA shot 56%, 18 for 32 from three-point range. Durant was 5 for 5 from three. Edwards was 2 for 3. Uh, they can't shoot any better than that. It still only went over by a few baskets over this total. And now it's an elimination round game and a medal, uh, you know, a gold medal elimination game uh, to play in the finals. Let's look at that uh, exhibition game last month. Uh, these teams met uh, back in July 17th, early in the exhibition season. That was 105.79. That landed 184. Stayed under this. USA still shot 44% from three, 53% from the field. Um, and the two teams combined 28 for 32 from the free throw line, and it still landed just 184. So I do like the under in this game. Also lean USA, but I think in game, if they get down early, is the best opportunity there. And I like the one under 187. I look for defensive intensity, and I think we get some line value based on the first meetings, barely going over and staying under despite extremely good three point shooting. Curry had a huge game in the exhibitions, by the way, with 24 points. I'd be careful with his point prop, though. It's around 11 and a half. He had 11 in the last game uh, when these teams played in the uh, first round. And um, Curry sometimes isn't in rhythm as he's not getting as many minutes and touches. So I'm staying off his prop one way or the other. I'm actually looking for reasons to fade Curry, but he has a great matchup, as we saw, with 35 points the two times so far against Serbia. So maybe the next round we'll look to play Curry under. We'll see what it looks like in this game when it's all said and done. Uh, Anthony Edwards, 16 points in the exhibition game. He, of course, had a monster game against them uh, last week. Coming off the bench, 11 points, 4 for 6 shooting. He's had some monster games since. Had 17 against Brazil. Um, I think Edwards over could be worth a look as uh, he's been really good off the bench. Bam Adebayo only had 4 points last week in the first game, but he's been good off the bench at times. We're going to stay away from him, but the guy I like is Drew Holiday. Holiday started the game last week, had 15 points, 6 for 8 shooting against Serbia. Um, when they played the exhibition game, he played 21 minutes, only eight points. But I expect for him to have a large role here because he did so against Brazil 
on Tuesday. 17 minutes, 9 points. His over-under is at 8.5. I think that's very manageable. And once again, Holiday did have double digits against Serbia, 15 points last week when they played um, in the first round. I like Drew Holiday over 8.5. That would be my top prop recommendation. I like the game under 187. And I lean USA. I think the best approach, if you're going to play minus 16, try to get it a little cheaper in game if they get down early and come out complacent. But the USA should win. They match up well. They've won them both by 26. And that number of 26, by the way, not only both games against Serbia, but coming into the Olympics this year, the USA was 19-1 and their previous 20. The average win by, boom, 26 points. And then they beat Serbia by 26 in game one. So it's, it's late if you're going to play it, preferably in game, maybe at a discount, under 187. If you're looking at props, Drew Holiday over 8.5 I think makes some sense as he's been playing a large role in the starting lineup and had a big game against Serbia last week. Hey, if you're finding these videos useful, thumbs up, like, click subscribe, and click the bell as well for instant alerts so you know when my bronze and gold medal videos go up for Saturday. Also, don't forget to check out the France-Germany Game 1 preview here on the channel as well, a free play in that game for you. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on Team USA-Serbia. How are you playing this game? Side, total, player props. Include some analysis. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. And if you'd like to get my personal best bets for baseball each and every night, check it out right now on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. NFL preseason starts this week in full swing as well. And how about getting my best bets for free for the rest of August? That's right. Sign up now. You get the rest of August for free when you get September and October. It's buy two, get three. Almost instant $300 savings on all access, all sports all the way through the end of October. That's going to get the rest of baseball into the World Series of October. It's going to get the start of the NBA in a couple months, about half the college football season, first third of the NFL season, this entire preseason, all of August for free when you buy September and October. It's a fantastic offer. No promo code needed, but you got to sign up this week. And the sooner you sign up, is the more days of August you're getting for free, including tonight's strong baseball best bets. And don't forget also, I post a free play every day on my page as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X on Twitter at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X. And don't forget, stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free basketball and baseball videos coming up next.